following is a presentation of HBO Sports. It's really not the weight. It's about the skills. And I feel that, you know, I'm a skillful fighter. Nagyon sokat jelent nekem ez a mérkőzés, és úgy érzem, hogy ez egy kitörési lehetőség, mert végre bebizonyíthatom azt, hogy tényleg olyan jó vagyok, ami ennek egyesek mondanak. Either make you or break you. My ultimate goal is to have one of the biggest boxing companies ever. I don't see your camera snapping. I'm steady learning. I'm still growing. I'm, even, I'm still learning stuff, even in the sport of boxing. We can pick up the pace if y'all want to. Everything takes time. Baby steps first. Mi a dolog? Az gondolom, hogy valóban a világ legjobb kövívója. Igazából nem is nagyon tudom elvitatni, megverte a legjobbakat, kiállt a legjobbakkal, legeredményesebb, legtöbb VB címet begyűjtötte, hogy tényleg a világ legjobb jelen lesz dolgom. Úgy érzem, nekem kell alkalmazkodnom hozzá. Floyd Money Mayweather. No losses, no draws. Nekem is egyébként megvan a saját magán véleményem éved arról. Igazából így ringen kívül egy egész normális gyerek, szóval tulajdonképpen ezt a mérkőzés kettő között az ötölvívó világ így, így megkövetelte, tehát... I'm Floyd Mayweather, not can fight. Boxing is an art, but I don't have to be the strongest. I don't have to be the fastest. I don't have to have the best footwork. Happy that camp has started back. Happy that 50 is a part of, you know, part of the money team. You know, um, it's not really just Team Mayweather, it's the money team. The reflexes is slow. Make me miss your hand. I, my hand's in my pants. The company gathered today at the Mayweather Boxing Club includes friends like superstar rapper 50 Cent alongside family members and employees. Every one of them excited the boxer is back where he belongs. I'm back. First and foremost, I'd like to thank Nas. Man, we is so many people on this staff and on this team. I don't even know everybody's name. First and last name. This is my story. Welcome me back. Of course, there are some names that could never be forgotten. Like that of the boxer's uncle and longtime trainer, Roger Mayweather. Yeah, six, three. And then there's Floyd Mayweather Sr., brother of Roger, father of Floyd, who has a flair all his own. I'm the motivator, innovator, creator of the game. See, I'm the one that taught them. It would never happen for neither brother, any of us. I was the first one to ever do this. Yes. The relationship between Mayweather Sr. and Jr. has been strained since Roger took over as the boxer's trainer years ago. But that doesn't stop Sr. from visiting the gym to offer ringside advice. At the end of the day, it's just a... Uh, it's your blood, and uh, blood is thicker than mud. If he wins, I win. His name is Floyd Joy Mayweather, Jr. I'm you know, what I'm my Uncle Roger, or what I'm uh, you know, my father, Floyd Mayweather, you know, I wouldn't be where I'm at today, you know, because it all started with both. My dad started me off, you know, and left my life at the age of 16. Roger came into my life, you know, he worked with me when I was from 17 years old, you know, to 34. So Roger has have worked with me longer, but you know, it, it all started with my father.
chip boss man. I got this ya. Igazából az egész, egész barátságon alapul, az egész barátságon kezdődött, és, és úgy érzem, hogy ez egy olyan csapat, ami, ami nem, csak a, nem csak a ringben van, hanem, hanem azon kívül is, nem a ringen kívül is tényleg egy, egy igazi csapat vagyunk, akik, akik ugyanúgy eljárnak szórakozni, eljárnak találkozgatni, és, és tényleg elvagyunk. A mikor ismerted meg fizikusziánt? Általános iskolában nagyon jó haverok voltunk, vagyunk is, és hát személyes dolgok is közöttünk hozzá. Csajoltunk, bulisztunk, minden. És milyen személyiségnek tartunk itt? Krisz? Teljesen jó személyiség. Csak nézzük is, hogy csak be. Elgurul. Elég jó szívű. Szükség van rá segít, mindig ott van mellettem. Hát így kiegészítjük. Csak azt tudod találkozni? Mi? Csak azt tudod ja. találkozni? Hát mi? Hát nem tudok el. Csak most nem úgy alakul, de úgy. Hát így négyszer. És ő csak edzés formájában, vagy csak úgy elmentek ah, valahol el? Edzés is van. Elmegyünk, élünk, utána beszélgetünk. Az edzések is nagyon jó, ami nagyon odaradja magát. A Dánik Dobánik helyzetben jól kijöttek egymással. Persze. Testőrem kicsit tekintek rá. Jó. Mikor és hogyan ismerted meg Füzi Krisztiánt? Nagyon régóta is felünk előtt, a komolyás korunk óta, ugye egy jó oldalba jártunk a szóra, azóta ismerjük egymást. 
Köszönöm a barátok vagyunk igazából. Jó mondjuk, hogy általános iskolában jöttem, de a barátság az nem maradt. Miután középiskolában együtt járunk, ezért az út kellene azt az adalom vagyunk. A legjobb barátom mindig is tudtam számítani, hogy a valami problémóval fő is rám. Szerintem nekem a legjobb barátom. Szóval a párét nem tudnál kérdezni, hogy ez szóval. Milyen személyiségnek tartod ezt? Nyugodt, nyugodt személyiség. Néha, ha fejlődésítik, akkor tombol, de ami tényleg egy nyugodt személyiség. Szóval ugye fejlődésíti, azt tudja kiírni, de amúgy nem. Szóval inkább um, nem foglalkozik fel. Gyakran szoktok ezt találkozni? Általában jó, hogy mostanában mivel nagyon sok dolga volt, meg nekem is ezzel az ez ritkában futottunk össze, de nem szeretném, hogy átvegyük a barát jóra, szóval általában minden Igen, egy, egy helyen lakint csak akkor Csak edzés vagy azért elmentek a ilyen helyre, és úgy lazulni. Hát, edzés is, mivel elmentek Mind a kettő. Hát, a mind a kettő, Jó, jó érzem az alakításságával, hogy mindenki lehet ide bűnökvíríteni az ember, szóval tényleg. Mindenkinek ilyen barátok ajánlok szóval, mert jó lenne, hogyha mindenkinek ilyen barátja lenne. While the past 15 and a half months have been quiet for Floyd Mayweather's boxing career, the same can't be said of his personal life. Step your game up, Rick! Step your game up, Rick! During his time away from the ring, Mayweather has had multiple run-ins with the law. I won. I told you a bomb! In all, he is a defendant in six separate pending legal cases. You know, as far as with the cases, I'm like... My mentality is like it's always gonna be. Fuck it. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. If I'm innocent, leave me alone. If I'm guilty, do what you gotta do. It's lies. Lies. Period. Lies. I never even... I mean, it's, 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 it's... When it's all said and done, it's bullshit. So what you do is go get the best team you can get. You go get the best team that money can buy. Have I paid a lot of money in lawyer fees? Absolutely. Millions. But it come with the territory. People money hungry. What else can I say? Floyd! That's how my mama like. The fat boy eating my, Yo, my, my man, stuff. Yeah, this is what we on a diet, yeah, this fool. Why you touch my stuff? Dude, man, I ain't touching whack ass cracker here, man. Take that joke. I know you like the raviolis and the crackers, so you see the I had to make sure he got it at the house. You know what I'm saying? I gotta make sure you got it at the house. You got specific crackers I like, too. The crackers in the green box, the <laughs> money green box. <laughs> oh, yeah. During good times and bad, Mayweather is rarely without his inner circle. An eclectic group that includes longtime friend 50 Cent. Yeah, that's my brother. That's my best friend. When it come down to it, you find out who your real friends, are, you know, your real friends really are. You know, and that's and that's my dude. You know, to the day we die. And good dude. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what it is. I'm always gonna be there for him. I'm always gonna support him. And then there's another face who's become a very significant part of the life of Floyd Mayweather. His fiance. I, I gotta let her tell you her name. I mean, we call her Miss Jackson, and they call her Miss Jackson, Miss Mayweather. She had a lot of different names, a lot of different names. She's just, um, she's a, she's a strong black woman, and that's behind me 100%. What's that song uh, uh, at the basketball games? Kiss me. Kiss me. Floyd and I met five years ago in Atlanta. 
Uh, I was in valet waiting on my car, and basically he just came, gave me his number, and the rest is history. Floyd proposing to me. Honestly, it wasn't the traditional get down on one knee proposal. Uh, we just have that mutual understanding for each other. And he just told me one day out of the blue, I want you to be my wife. And basically that was it. And that was all I needed to hear. Work time, work time, got a backpack, work time. Erzsébet királyné, Verte nevén Sisi. Azt mondják, hogy állítólag korában nagyon szép nő volt. Ez is egy látványossága a Srilakhegynek. Így éppen uton vagyunk az általános iskola felé. Úgy gondolom, hogy egy bemutatás megérdemel a hölgy. Szerintem indulhatunk is tovább. Megérkeztünk, itt vagyunk a Csillaghegyi Általános Iskolába. Ide jártam Suliba. És nagyon érdekes dolog, mert valahol ez az iskola összeköt engem az ökölvívással. Mert itt ismertem meg az edzőmet, Vörös Pétert. Itt volt az első box edzésünk még az iskolának a torna termében, és innen fejlődött ki így, úgymond a Óbudai Római Box Club. Tehát valamilyen szinten az iskolának is köszönhető, hogy elkezdtem az ökölvívást. És most szerintem nézzük meg az iskola versét, milyen volt az osztálytermem, és hol töltöttem el a napjaimat. Legfőképp ugye ebbe a padba, a kapcsolatból jöttem itt. Mögöttünk ültek, hát akkori barátnőink. Hátulunk a mostani szeknyei helyén volt ugye a zongora. Ez a zongora már akkor is itt volt. Hajdi néni játszott rajta, amúgy a legtöbbször majd az ének tanár, de azért volt, hogy osztálytársaim is aktívak voltak rajta. Hát mondjuk annyi a különbség ahhoz képest, amikor én lejártam, hogy akkor még régebbi táblák voltak, tehát az a, itt volt a kétatartó, stb. Hát sok jó emlék fűz engem ez a teremhez, meg tényleg ez az iskolához. Úgyhogy én szerettem ide járni. Június 20-a, 5 ehhez. Ehhez a parkhoz. Miért? Meg, meg kötődik hozzá, tudod, a, az ilyen trianoni dolog. Ha ezt jobban megnézed, az még egy Nagy Magyarország, és ezt a parkot annak az emlékére csinálták, a Nagy Magyarország emlékére. És itt ezeken a köveken, amik itt vannak, ott a hét vezérnek a nevét láthatjuk. Tehát igazából ez egy ilyen látványosság a Csillaghegynek ez a park is. Tess, ez is szokott lenni világítva, szoktak idejönni párok, Romantikus hely. Gyerekek tudnak itt játszani. Lehet haverokkal focizni is akár. Csak vigyázni kell, hogy eltaláld az ászlót. Fighting runs in the Mayweather blood. Which means every day at the boxing club that bears the family name. The rituals completed by the fighter in training are performed innately. 
In these parts, for this clan, combatancy is the norm. Hostility is expected. Antagonism is instinctual. It is a way of life that has been passed down for generations and a tradition that continues to endure. Catch, catch, catch. Uh, uh, to the body, catch, catch on the body, catch on the body. Go to the body, body. Uh, there you go. It's Saturday night in Las Vegas, Nevada, and the stars are out for a video rapper 50 Cent is filming for charity in the hardwood suite of the Palms Hotel. I hit on a little bit today, you know. Floyd Mayweather is among the big names on hand for his friend, fresh off a sizable payday from a wager on an NFL preseason game. 50, where you at? I'm chilling. I'm in here uh, in the shoot. Doing uh, the SK stuff. Uh, what you doing? Got meals on top of meals. Got meals on top of meals. It's funny. I was sitting here thinking about how I can get some money. Yeah, I ain't doing that. You know, same old program. I know. You know, hold on. Somebody clicking on my other line. Hold on right quick. All right. Yeah. Mom, what's going on? Yeah, I seen my daddy on 24-7. Yeah, the first, he was hating. Mom, I, I get the money to you. You can, you can, it's going right through the line right now. Ma, I'll call you right back. All right. Yeah, 50, I'm back. Yeah, man. Yeah, that was my mother. She wasn't talking about nothing. How's she talking doing? About, talking about my daddy was hating on the first series, but I tell him it's all right. You're crazy, man. I tell you, man, don't be arguing with your daddy, man. Yeah, you're right. You told me that. You told me that a few times. He loves you, man. He just look at you and he see how, how, how good you actually became, and he wanted to be a part of that. So he he always thinks it's his, he's always going to feel like If it, somebody... It, his but I know they probably watch. I know they watching this right now. They probably watching on TV because we feel people is watching this. I feel people people are following me and you watching me. You been feeling like that too? I've been feeling like Absolutely. that too. Absolutely. Lord, I've been hearing a click on the goddamn phone. I think the feds is on this phone. Hold on, let me let me check this line. I'm hearing the same click you hear. Yeah, man, they motherfuckers in there listening on the conversation. So don't say nothing you ain't supposed to say, okay? All right, I'll let you later on. All right, talk no, to you. All right, one. Tehát igen, a 
Boxing club opens long before its owner arrives for training. The man who turns on the lights is Cornelius Boza Edwards, a native of Uganda who once held a super featherweight title belt. Edwards trains fighters himself and also handles any number of responsibilities inside the gym, including looking after Roger Mayweather, whose health and eyesight have deteriorated in recent years from chronic diabetes. Health issues, though, have been just one of Mayweather's problems of late. There was also a battery charge after a 2009 incident with one of his female boxing students. A charge that was eventually dropped, but only after he agreed to 24 weeks of anger management classes. My case was shooting me upside the head with a motherfucking lamp. Bust my head up here. You know, I'm going to clap for nothing. Somebody hit me, and I, and I got to learn a lesson. She hit me, she needs to learn a damn lesson, not me. But hey, it is what it is. Once a week, he reluctantly leaves training early to head to class, with Edwards playing the role of chaperone and chauffeur. Another hot-ass day. I'm finishing this class up, and they ain't never going to see me no more. Edwards knows where his passenger likes to eat before class, even if he's not quite as familiar with the menu as Roger. Is it okay now? Oh, yeah. What are you going to have? I have a sandwich. I don't like the taco thing. What? The chicken, the chicken taco with salmon. Salmon? Salmon, we call it salmon. It's fish, Roger. What are you talking about? No, I ain't no fish. I get salmon, like chicken. It's chicken. This is where I come 9% of the time. I shouldn't be drinking no soda. But I, I, I might as well. You only live once. You only live twice. 
A week ago, the trainer was a conspicuously placid presence during a dispute between his brother and nephew. A possible sign the classes are having an impact. So what do you think you guys are going to do today? We're going to do some more talking. About what? Right, about what, what makes you mad, what makes you angry, like that. Well, usually it makes you angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you get hit? Some, some make me angry. It can be like, I ask my baby mom to do something like that with my daughter, or oh, she, she didn't do it. Took my money and ran off. <laughs> Perhaps the rest of the day's questioning is best left to the professionals. We've made it right on time. Yeah, you got to sign in. The class begins promptly at 7 p.m., with neither cameras nor Edwards allowed inside. All right, Roger. How are things with you? Fine. Uh, <laughs> Another day. I don't read the newspapers because they all have ugly prints.
can't, you know, I gotta be serious. Cause I feed my family. I can't bullshit with this. You know, you know, when it's all said and done, you know, this is serious. Cause I don't want today when I work out, when I work out, I don't want. This is my third workout today. I don't want to make no mistakes. So you know, I can't come here and bullshit. I gotta be serious. Accordingly, the soundtrack of Glove Against Mitt betrays no hint of the hour. In a late night workout, we call these three a days. When the fighters start doing three a days, they talk to me. At 2.30 a.m., the boxer finally calls it a night, and his edge quickly fades. If you hating cause I'm getting paid, then fuck you. That's my new song. Longest month, lady loves me and my babies love me. That's all I really care about. And all the fans that pay to see me win. Y'all know I love you all. And all the ones that pay to see me lose, you're not getting a refund on your pay-per-view money. <laughs> Cause it's non-refundable. Oh man. <laughs> Naked. She wants the cheese of the cheeks. You want the cheeks. She wants the cheese. The fish gotta eat. 
I'm having the epiphany, you niggas ain't shit to me. Worse than the scum in the slum I'm from. I'm a south side nigga, yeah, I'm bout mine. You be that next nigga, car and it's come out line. You ain't made of what I made of. You a bum nigga with a bum bitch. Your shoes come from Vegas. You counterfeit fraudulent fakers. What kind of rich nigga bitch look like that? Now we pulling up the lot. Break hit the button, then we pulling down the top. Shine's on stunting, and I'm pulling out a knot. Strap with the drop, we don't pull it out a lot. The front, I'm in the car. How we do? Niggas ain't on the shit we on, we on. Everything new. Spikes on the loop. Batons, batons. We up, nigga. Visualize everything I needed and dream. Uh -huh. Penalized every whole nigga that have a scheme. Guns in your video get you locked in the Ooh. beam. Me, I kill a nigga quick, no worries, my record clean. Murder one, become manslaughter, smash the product. Ooh. Charity work, parking tickets and no charges. Ooh. Fuck nigga, you fucked over your father when he gave you a dick. Should have been a bitch in pajamas. Massaging him. I want a strong. He said he want a strong black man to massage him. <laughs> give me, give me the strongest black man you got to massage. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna show you how my massage therapist look. Don't work for our company. Bad. Everything we do is bad. If I take this shit right now, it's gonna be better. Man massaging me, and the other one wearing fishnet. And then he gonna talk about he look he look he look at he look at him like a god. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. Oh man, what the fuck is going on? Tell me what really is going on. The workout begins in earnest at 4 p.m., offering a reminder that Mayweather is far from all talk. Igen, ez is meri. Ez a rakás szar. Rendben, ebben megbeszéltük. Miért melyik két emberre találkozol? És ez a marakos faszol.
people to refresh the champ. The dose of sugar and caffeine bolts the body into the perfect workout finish. When the sun sets, the team gathers in the southeast section of Las Vegas for a holiday barbecue thrown in the boxer's honor. Oh, it's Labor Day weekend, so I decided to get everybody together. And you know, we all we can't buy Floyd with you know what he's used to. So you know, this all come from the heart. Everybody pitched in, everybody gave money, everybody cooked things and bought things. So we just wanted to give something back to Floyd, just to show him our appreciation and that you know that we do care about him and appreciate everything that he does for us. This just a little give back, you know. So it's a money team cookout. You know my man Flo Rider, Pleasure P. You know he making that. That new era, baby making music. Flow Rider like to go outside the box and do his thing, baby. I feel like I'm at home right now. You know, I'm always traveling and things like that, but it was Floyd showing me the best time ever, man. It's like, play my own. It's real love right here, man. For at least one night, boxing is on the back burner. How you doing, baby? <laughs> and the fighters' team, friends, and family joyfully reap the benefits. That's it. We're gonna have to close this one down. About 20 pounds of chicken. 10 pounds of hot dogs, 20 pounds of burgers. Big Church put a dent in it, too. Hey, it's good. A few miles from the gym, this is the ode to opulence where Mayweather is known to spend frequent afternoons, Tobin Motor Cars. Joining him for a browse today, actor Jackie Long and R&B singer Ray J. Hey, come look at this season. This motherfucker is like a limited edition. Mayweather owns 14 luxury cars, a collection valued at more than $4 million. On this visit, he negotiates an impromptu trade, one of his Bentleys for a new Rolls Royce. You want to come to the dealership and get the car and just meet me at my house? And let me know it's going to be the difference or whatever, and then we just take care of it, and I'll give you cash. Several hours later, back at the Mayweather mansion, a man they call Chop arrives with a car they call the Ghost. Money made in full effect, baby, you know? Rolls Royce affair, you know? We add another Rolls Royce to the collection, you know what I'm saying? And that's what it is, all white, that's right. Money made, don't play. Following a bit of paperwork, the exchange is made. A cash payment you know, makes up the difference. Thank you, champ. Told me, you know. Appreciate it. Another, another beautiful deal with the champ. We do that. We, we trade a Bentley Super Sport in. We give them that, and then we take the, you know, Rolls Royce. Now, so now we, you know, add a few more to the collection. Go back to my boy uh, Ray J, 24/7. Coming to you live. We got a uh, serious concert that we got to attend to. <laughs> concert in my living room. You know, that's how we do. We're 24/7. 
everybody, I'm gonna say grab somebody hey. hand. And if you're feeling lonely, and if you're going through hard times in your life, just relax. If I had one wish, wish, we'd be best friends. Love would never end, it would just begin. If I had one wish, you'd be my boo. Promise to love you, trust me, I trust you. If I had one wish, we'd the memories of Grand Rapids certainly feel a long way away. Nights in Las Vegas are known for their energy. The days tend to form more quietly. And under the glare of the desert sun, the mood of the citizenry can sometimes be similarly muted. Today, Floyd Mayweather is taking his newest purchase for a spin on local roadways and ruminating with an uncharacteristic dose of reflectiveness. My thought on life is just, uh, I don't worry about what no, no one says. I just live my life to the fullest because when it's all said and done, I have to be happy. My fans come first. Well, I, I don't want to say they come first because I come first. Self-preservation is the law of the land, you know. I must put myself first. But my fans play a major part. You have people that pay to see you win. You have people that pay to see you lose. They both are fans because they both are fans. Never looking back or too far in front of me. The present is a gift and I just want to be. Be. Back at his house at 2.30 a.m., Mayweather has a unique nighttime appointment. A Skype session with a group of soldiers, members of Task Force Duke, Stationed in Afghanistan. What's up? What y'all doing? Hey, we're coming to you from uh, 
Uh, here in uh, Coast Province, Afghanistan. You know, right now, I'm sorry that I was late, but you know, I was watching the, uh, you know, sh this movie called Shark Night came out. So I don't got nothing to do, so I had to go hang out and go see Shark Night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to say God bless and thank you guys. What else can we do with our guys like you? You know, you guys go out and fight for the country. So, you know, I want to let every, every troop know that's over there fighting for this country. I love you guys. Hey, you got a beautiful fiance, bro. Oh, well, come on in, Miss J. Come get on. Come on, say what's up, baby. Hello. Ready? Go! Everybody's saying that Floyd has problems with with Southpaws. Everybody that they put in front of me, I be. said before. World best champion. World's best champion. I'm going to be the last man standing. I'm still here. I'm still going strong. Anybody else who next? Presentation of HBO Sports.